Hello, this is Chris Newman with Cinechopper LSE. Today I'm going to teach you about the anatomy of an RC helicopter. The first thing on our list is batteries. RC helis use a special kind of battery called a lithium polymer battery, or for short, a LiPo battery. LiPo batteries are also used in mobile phones and laptops. When you look at a LiPo battery, it'll have some identification printed on it. The first thing you usually see is a number followed by an S. A 3S battery means that it has three cells in the battery. Each cell holds 3.7 volts, so when you times 3.7 by 3, you get 11.1 volts. Whereas a 4 cell battery can power a 14.8 volt, or in other words, a bigger heli. The battery will also have a number on it followed by an MAH, or milliamp hour. The higher this number is, the longer the flight time. The battery will also have a number followed by a C, for example 12C or 30C. The higher C reading means it costs a little bit more, but it puts less stress on the battery and it generates less heat. Here's a tip about batteries. When you're traveling through an airport, always, always carry your LiPos on your carry-on and put them in your own separate bin before going through the scanner. Battery-powered helis use what we call brushless motors. The motors use magnetics to generate spin. Brushless motors are expensive, but they're very powerful and efficient. Next on the list is ESCs, which stands for Electronic Speed Control. The ESCs control the speed of the motors. All multi-roller helis use a flight control board. The flight control board is the brain of the heli. It receives the signal from your transmitter and sends the signal to your motors. Flight control boards also include some sort of gyro stabilization to keep the helicopter level. Propellers, or props, are used to create the lift on the heli. Propellers need to be balanced to achieve smooth video footage and to increase the longevity of your heli. I will show you how to do this in a future video. A quick tip about propellers. If they break, don't try and glue them back together. Just get new ones. A transmitter is a device that allows you to wirelessly control the helicopter. Transmitters come in all kinds of flavors. The transmitter usually has a number in its name. That number indicates how many channels the transmitter can control. Certain helicopters require more channels than others. A good tip is to invest in a good transmitter, as it's something that you can use forever. Servos are devices that allow for wireless mechanical movement on your heli. You see them mainly on single prop helis. Servos aren't really used on a microcopter, but if you get a stabilized gimbal, it'll utilize servos. Alright, that's it for the basics. Check the description for more info. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos soon.